Hi there, I'm Ekfer, and today we're going to do a very quick video on how to find chunk borders using coordinates. And I'm doing that because um, quite often for a build, you want to chunk align it. And um, I don't want to include how to do that in all of my videos. So I'm going to do a separate video, which is this one. And hopefully you will learn how to do it. If you already know, please ignore this. OK, so let's dive straight in. So there are quite a few methods of finding chunk borders, but the one we're going to use today is based on our coordinates. And we can do that quite easily um, without having to do lots of messing around. If you do want to find other methods, you can look them up online. There's a method using leaves. Um, there's various other ways of doing it. Um, shaders uh, have stopped working on Windows 10 at least. So that method is kind of out of the window at the moment. But um, so here's a way of doing coordinates. It does use a little bit of maths, but it's really simple maths, so don't worry about it too much. So the coordinate I've chosen here is uh, minus 904 for the x coordinate, any y coordinate, I don't care, I'm going to ignore that, and 709 for the z coordinate. So first thing to do, find your x coordinate. Well, we've got that, it's minus 904. I'm going to divide it by 16. So you can use a calculator. I've already done it. I know that that's minus 56.5. And um, I can take that minus 56.5. I'm going to round it down and then multiply by 16. So because it's a negative number, this is really important. Don't get this wrong. Because it's a negative number, when you round it down, minus 56 will become minus 57. OK, so you don't just drop the decimal, the negative number. You've got to actually round it down to minus 57. So we take that minus 57, and when we multiply it by 16, we get minus 912. And that is our first chunk border. OK, to get the second chunk border, just add 15 onto that. Um, you probably don't need to do that. Just finding one corner is enough. But if you want to get all of your borders sorted out, add 15, and that'll give you minus 897. So that's our second edge. Right, so we do save for y coordinate. It was 709, remember? Divided by 16, this time we get a positive, of course, so that's 44 point something. Now when I round that number down, I can just drop the decimal so it becomes 44, and I get 704 as my answer. So there is 704 up the top. That is one of my, uh, in fact, that's my third chunk edge. Add 15 again, like we did before, and I get 719. So those are all of my chunk borders, and that is my chunk. Like I said, often you only need one corner, so you can cut out the second two bits of calculation and you end up with minus 912, 704, and that's your chunk corner. So as long as you're counting in the positive direction from there, so from minus 912, it goes up to minus 897, and from 704, it goes up to 719. As long as you go in the positive direction, you can have 16 blocks along in either direction they are all inside your chunk and it's worth pointing out that the reason why this works actually is because 0 0 for coordinates x 0 z 0 are the that's the corner of the first chunk in the world so at the 0 0 point um, that is actually chunk corner so what this calculation is doing is actually only working out how many jumps of 16 there are from that zero zero and uh, that will always be a new chunk corner so there you have it the way of finding chunk borders using your coordinates a little bit of math um, hopefully it wasn't too difficult and um, i hope it comes in useful for you if you enjoyed that do check out the rest of the channel have a look at some of my my videos and i'd love it if you subscribed leave me a like or any comments at all down below bye bye then